Hey yo, what's up guys, John Boogle here. Today I'm gonna be using my own guide to beat Manic Lion. But wait, I barely have level 30 units. I don't have Haniwa. How could I possibly beat this stage right now? Well, believe it or not, it is still possible. Now the old guide, I used much higher level units here. And on top of that, true forms. Also, damn, this thing is four years old. So how can we do it? We have a level 20 crazed UFO instead of a level 30 manic flying. Our only other gacha true form here is cameraman. Manic eraser is only level 20, same with mohawk, but we do have one unit here and you guessed it that unit is the one and only the crutch the savior the unit that will win us the stage cubay cat nah let me stop that is not the unit that will win us the stage so how do we win now the guide said to take into account of any other aoe units we might have and with just some dps comparisons on my guy matoto we quickly found out the best units to use for this stage, with our levels at least. Now with level 20s and barely level 30s, there's no way in hell we'll be able to out DPS the stack of lines that come. I mean, sure, we could use Ubers and just beat the stage with no issue, but uh, that'll be a little bit too easy. So, no. Now the first run here, we just kind of had to gauge how powerful our units are compared to Manic Lions insane rush and you'll quickly realize that uh, our units are way underpowered and you must be wondering boogle that's obvious but this run gives us a lot of info it'll show us that even with our levels here with the units here we are not able to hold back manic lion stack which is pure dps stack now maybe we could have stood a chance if we maybe replaced valkyrie with drama cats or something but in the end that is not how we would beat the stage because our main way to beat the stage is gonna have to be crowd control courier won't help us here because of the ld our other attackers are not enough we do not have high enough meat shields so it is gonna have to be crowd control now it's not gonna be all rng here with valk since we do have a little help with healer now at this point you could easily see we did not have enough dps to kill off the lions quick enough before they stack up and just start overrunning so there's no way we can take this level the simpler way by just pushing forward we're gonna have to do it the traditional way which is much more difficult to pull off but i'm sure we can definitely do it with the help of healer here and the old guide tells us enough info that we need for that so in the old guide i did say that the beginning is a very important part especially if you're using no power-ups but here of course we are going to use power-ups we have nowhere near high enough levels to do this without power-ups so we tried a series of things here we tried healer in the beginning to just maybe get some extra time to stack up some extra cash we also tried the traditional just spam stallers until manic line eventually dies to stack up cash but later i did decide to use the healer portion because it allowed us to stack without using too many meat shields and in the old guide i mentioned how if you have too many meat shields out in the beginning here when the lions rush they could get caught on all of those meat shields and start stacking up very early and basically what that means is by the time they reach to the base you're already going to be overwhelmed because they're just going to be stacking even more because they do not spawn all at once they spawn in many waves but if you let all of those waves stack up then it becomes a huge huge issue another big reason we don't want that to happen is because manic lion the enemy is single target so it hits one meat shield at a time. The less that are stacked up together, the more likely it is you'll be able to hold ground with just your meat shields. Now this run was already a failure because healer died pretty early and we probably did send out healer a bit too early in this run. But the sign we needed was there. We were killing the stack even with just our low level units. So it was definitely winnable. We just had to make sure not to mess up in the beginning too much. Let the lions naturally flow towards our base so they don't start stacking up early. Now while it was still winnable, when I looked back to check, I realized how even with the Valkyrie freeze procs, we still weren't holding back the lions enough. So it was finally time to go into our storage and finally get our first true form normal which is Eraser. And yes, that was our first true form normal. So combining all the info together here and our units was 
very confident going into the next run. And of course, the next run was in fact our winning run. We combined everything we've learned previously and our info from the old guide to create the ultimate counter run. Now obviously, realistically, everyone here would just use their Ubers. That's always the case. If you have better Ubers, use them. But this video wouldn't be so fun if we just sent out Dark and won the stage. So in the beginning here, you can see clearly we stopped sending meat shields at all. We just let Healer do the rest of the work while we just stacked up on cash because that was pretty crucial. We did not want to make the line stack up early, otherwise we will not be able to hold off. Already a near flawless start, we have nearly max cash and the lines are coming out and they are not stacking up too much because there isn't too much meat shields in the way. Now from our previous runs, we also learned that sending out healer too early can be an issue. So what we did in this run, send out Valk first, then healer. And of course, if Valk doesn't get the free sprock, healer can cover. And at this point, it was going great. We got CPU off. We are starting to stack up tremendously here. Healer has not died yet. A Bahamut hasn't even got hit yet because we were able to kill off the initial rush of lines super quick. So our meat shields are enough to just fend off the rest. Now, of course, this would be much more simpler if we had Haniwa, but we'll cover that and talk about that more in detail when we eventually do all of the updated guides. Now, this was still dangerous because we were hitting cat limit and we still haven't killed off the initial big waves of lines here because eventually the line wave starts to calm down and it starts getting way more manageable with one line at a time. Now, in the first run, we realized that we do not have enough DPS to hold off a stack of lions on our own. We do need that crowd control help. So hitting cat limit here is pretty scary, but we are able to get off to a Bahamut's here and we have two a Bahamut's stacked up. So at this point, I was pretty confident we we're going to win and we got to the stage where the manic lines have stopped coming out at a ridiculous pace and it's just one at a time now. But you'll see how much of a threat that cat limit truly is because even here with just one lion at a time, we still almost lost it. Now, maybe I should have turned off CPU here and just focused on our attackers, but I figured one line at a time should be enough surely to just hold off long enough until we get a Bahamut back in recharge, which it is almost back up. We did absolutely need a Bahamut here because you can see we were barely killing off the lines and they started to stack up here and healer was already in front. He just got completely destroyed, but we got a Bahamut back in time. We almost completely got overrun there by just four lions all because we hit cat limit we didn't have enough attackers on the field we didn't have meat shields up in time so yeah that can happen if you are using low levels it sort of becomes a strung out battle like manic macho legs where it's just back and forth until you eventually either chip the base down or just completely get a bomb it locked on it and destroy it but there it is there was manic lion this is actually our fourth manic cat were able to get it even before manic flying mostly because it was first in the schedule but we're able to do it there manic line obtained if you want to see a similar video to this where i beat manic eraser using my own guide you could go check that out right there i will probably do videos like this for all the manic stages we'll see and then it'll be the updated manic guides but yeah that's it drop a like if you enjoyed this video subscribe if you're new join the hashtag buku gang discord is there join if you'd like we will be back soon covering more of the manic stages and then eventually hopping into the updated guys but yeah it's been john bugle and see ya